Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Nacho Dad, and today I'm out here working on the 10 horsepower Chinese diesel engine that I've got. It's the, uh, this is the engine we're going to be working on and building to put in the diesel-powered Yerf Dog go-kart that we've got. I just dropped the video on that, so if you haven't heard about it, go check it out. So today we're just going to go over this engine, what it does, what it do, what it be, and what it needs. What it needs, there's uh, two big issues that it has that are stopping it from being a perfect go-kart engine. Issue number one. Let's come around to the back side. Tapered crankshaft. And not the big long taper that you can buy an adapter for on eBay for 30 bucks. The little short taper. It's uh, three quarters of an inch right at the very end here. And it scales up to uh, an inch something like that. So it's, it's not a very big taper but it's enough to really screw you up. So I've got a few ideas about that. We're gonna go over them here in a few minutes. And the other issue is coming up with a throttle setup because the way this thing is it's either off or it's on there's no in between so we need to be able to be in the go-kart and have a throttle pedal and this thing needs to sit here and idle and then give us throttle when we hit the pedal and then not lock at full throttle because that would suck so we need to come up with a throttle mount we need to come up with a way to make that shaft in the back usable. I've got a few ideas for it, and then I've also got the idea of pulling the front cover off and seeing if I might be able to mount a PTO shaft to there like some old lawn tractors used to do. To have a PTO adapter that came off the flywheel side. So I took the cover off, the uh, pull start off. Now A, this thing has the beefiest starter pull cup I've ever seen, but B, it's got four tapped holes that hold that on. So I think I could probably come up with a uh, one inch output shaft PTO that would actually bolt onto here and cover the nut and would bring me a one inch output shaft out to here. So I've got plenty of room. But that's, that's kind of like second option because that messes up. We wouldn't be able to run a torque converter if we wanted to, but we might not be. I'm thinking this thing, probably a centrifugal clutch and some good gearing would be a lot better since it's got the torque. But, you know, a torque converter would probably be really good since this thing's got the torque. And then gear it up higher. But, that's where we're at now. Four. Alright, so I'm back outside. This is my setup. It's got the uh, idle set screw. And then I've got a little throttle cable. So I can pull that. I've got it set about where I think the idle should be. I don't have a tack on it yet. I don't have a way to check it externally. So, let's see if we can just get it to start. Seems to be running fine. Let's see if we can make it go slower. We can, but right about there sounds good. And it'll just go right back down to idle. And then to turn it off, we'll just we'll have a kill switch with a uh, cable up front. Pull that, instant shut off. So yeah, I think that works.